those are my piggies mixed only with polyurethane satin varnish for now without my pouring medium with oh this uh, and I'm showing you this because I will add my pouring medium that it's um, white when it's wet and it dries clear so when I mix it to my piggies you will not see the whole beautiful colors before it will be dry so I decided to show you this part just for imagination and this is um, stuck up pigs hoity toity I think no egotistical egotistical beautiful shimmery color shifty piggy see and this is red from the new release and this is Agapanthus Brulee uh, the new from the new release Burn Sierra Kathleen's color and Honeycomb and I will use black and white to just mix with my pouring medium so maybe a little change that I made today Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, so I taped a piece of um, canvas, but it's not uh, canvas. What is this? How to call it? It's just, you know, canvas fabric with primer. Um, and I have it bigger than I will have my canvas because I'm planning to leave this what will be here because I will do a flower dip so that I will still have space maybe I will add some more black around and I will have the whole new canvas when it will be dry to put on on wood and it will be another canvas hopefully i do this for the first time today so i don't know if it will work normally i do my dips on plastic or paint on can uh, on plastic Ooh, i hope that this will not affect my base probably not because it's black should have used grab granite pencil or something not this one I totally didn't think about it now it is what it is uh, so the colors that I will use I will use again all piggies I will use agapanthus egotistical brulee burnt sierra rod red rod and honeycomb and I have some white and I have black for my base so basically I will just I think that it should act a little differently because it is canvas it's not plastic you know but we will see so I need nice amount of black for my base I think I will just spread it around and then I will decide if I need more or not. Um, this flower dip technique look easy but as any pouring technique when you try it's not as easy. And while I'm talking that Maybe some of you still didn't heard that Fab will come to Dublin next June. I will be one of the teachers too, so you can join us if you want to learn. I will add some black on this canvas too, just to wet it down, kind of. 
not used to do to work with those big pellet knives. I don't know why. Prefer smaller ones. I thought that it will be faster, and it is more kind of. But I don't know if I have a feeling if I have too much enough too little base down because I use this pellet knife. I'll just check with my normal one. Weird, isn't it? But I just didn't feel it right. So every one of us is different, but it's totally fine. Okay, so now I will start drizzling some paint and I will start with some of the Okay, the moment of truth. I will put down my canvas. And I don't want to press hard, hard. It's just what you prefer. That's why I want to have a little more paint, maybe. Because I don't want this to sque squeeze <laughs> totally, I don't know how to explain. And now I will try to go straight up and then tilt it a little bit. Because that's how I try to do my pattern with the vision that it will kind of do it like that and now it's just one flower but gorgeous one What do we think? I think it's gorgeous. This, wow! Let's see what is under there. Beautiful too, but I have to work on this bottom part a little bit. So I will basically try to do what Jessica on her channel Jessica, Jessica from Winter Storm Art. Do it her blues. Space. The wheels went up and got so 
also here. Uh, they both uh, again mission almost impossible to show the beauty of piggies on camera. And this is wet result. This one is on the canvas and here is what is on my other half. I really normally like more those who stay on table but today my favorite one is probably this one but this one looks really beautiful too so I hope it will dry okay uh, because I, I, I definitely would love to look at this tulip or something just gorgeous I love it so stay tuned for the dry result so here are the close-ups of the dried result this is the one on canvas that this time I like more than the one that left gorgeous gorgeous details and you can imagine how shiny this is sparkly because of these little piggy pigments just so hard to catch on camera amazing and this is the one that I have on this uh, canvas not framed yet so I will put this one on one of my wooden frames I believe the bigger one just maybe this way anyway turned out beautiful so you see you have two paintings now you can even just uh, put it under the glass on some frames or something or staple it on the canvas you know because it's on the right surface but this one is just gorgeous isn't it I love it. Tell me in the comments what you think about it and check the description for the information for the lessons, live lessons in Dublin next year. We will do some flower dips too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye!